My name is Anushka Patel. I'm a cardiologist and the chief scientist at the George Institute for Global Health. I'm also a professor of medicine at the University of New South Wales. Very early in my medical career, I understood that we need more evidence about how to provide better care to patients in our everyday clinical interactions. And I understood that science was the key to providing that evidence. Worldwide, we waste billions of dollars and there's a lot of human suffering as a result of either ineffective or inefficient care being delivered. And at the same time, very large populations who are at risk of these common conditions don't even receive basic health care. So solving uh, these problems, science has an absolute critical role to play. So Smart Health is a, a program of research that's now being conducted in several countries around the world, both high income countries and low and middle income countries. That's focused on how do we better deliver proven treatments for the prevention and, and management of, of common conditions like heart disease, uh, stroke, diabetes, etc. What it involves is a technology platform, often using mobile technologies, that allows low cost, low resource healthcare workers to deliver care to large populations. It also involves the use of um, other technologies such as uh, devices that can easily connect to decision support systems and supply chains that allow the effective delivery of treatments to large populations. I think many people believe healthcare delivery is easy. You just go and do it. Um, but in fact, it's really quite complex. The whole science of healthcare delivery, is also known as implementation science, is very complex because fundamentally you're dealing with changing the behaviour of people, whether that's healthcare providers or patients, or communities, or complex organisations. That's very difficult. That requires a scientific approach and that's often not recognised as it should be. I think I'm very fortunate to work in an area of science where you can actually see impact from your research in a very short time frame. So within five to ten years, I hope I can see increasing impact on the lives of people that the research is focused on. Other disciplines often it takes many, many decades. So that's something that I think I'm very fortunate to be involved with. I'm obviously very honoured to receive this award, um, but in particular uh, to receive an award that's been um, established to honour a great Australian, Sir Gustav Nossel, who's just done amazing things in the area of global health.